Okay, what's up YouTube? It's SK here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the GLSL Parallax Occlusion. So start off by downloading the MCP patcher. I'll put a link in the description where you can download it. So the MC patcher simply allows that you can use texture pads with a higher resolution than 16 pixels. So start off by going to the page with the MC Patcher, and then download it. I'm going to download it for Windows. Oh my god, I had a lot of stuff here, okay. Um, so, open it up and run it. So here, you can show us what things you want to install. These are stuff, stuff which you can choose between, between, but do not use better grass if you want to have the parallax uh, occlusion but do have HD font and HD texture packs but uh, with other stuff you can just choose what you want to use so I'm going to use these two because I don't need these things here and this sh you shouldn't have that um, so then click patch So when it have have come to 100%, then it's done. So then we can close it down. Then you have to go to the texture extension gill lesson support. I have a link in the description to where you can download that on to. Um, and it will look like this. Well, except for that it is closed. Okay, but open the gill lesson extension list. Spoiler, which is uh, click show on the spoiler. And here I have all the texture packs. Packs. Sorry. So here you can see all the texture packs that support the parallax occlusion. Because not every texture pack, texture pack does that. So if you click on the name of it, like these three, if you click on that once, then you will download the texture pack. And if you click on the download thing next to it, then you will download the extension of the texture pack. So when this is the Wind Wake texture pack, and here's the extension of it. Um, so first you have to download the texture pack, and then the extension. Okay, so I will download, download the some te uh, texture pack, and... Uh, extension so the texture pack will look like this um, and the extension pack sorry these two files shouldn't be here when you download it sorry if I sorry about that okay so here is the extension pack and it has two files terrain.nh and terrain underscore s not dot underscore I mean. Um, so simple we have to do is drag the terrain files into the texture pack folder. And by the way, you also have to use WinRAR, this program up here. This is the program which I'm using now. And what WinRAR does is that it makes you able to open a lot of files which you shouldn't be able to open without it. Specificated yards that's how you mod your client in minecraft okay so here's where you can download it i put a download link in the description where you can download it it is it supports 32 and 64 okay um so now we'll we will actually be going to the glsl page the glsl shaders Page. I will put a link in the description to that one too, of course. <laughs> this is the most important part. So scroll down until you find the version for Windows or ev everyone else. But I use Windows and I have it here. So once you download it, open the folder and run the installer.exe. I can close this down. So here, for some people, they can just right click and click download, and they, then they would download the mod into here, I think, or something. 
but I can't do it. I don't really know why. So it says that if you can't do that, then do what I do. Go up to the top of the page. Go to the wiki. Then click the installation. Scroll down until you find manually importing this shader file. Okay, so uh, we see this link to get a repository where the shader files are hosted. Okay, so click there. Skip the ad if you don't wanna check it out. <laughs> then download the top one because that is the newest version. So then go to the side and click download on the top one. It is shaders.n2 minus shader2.n2 because I already downloaded some of the files sometimes. So then go to the exe again and click import. You scroll you shall scroll down to find the M2, so click the one and click open. The should start M2 file. Click yes if it asks you that question. And here it is. Share is by Dex Nitro. This mod name is the use of guild so share is during gameplay. Share is by Dex Nitro. So Well that's all you have to do. So then all you have to do is click install mod and just wait for it to be done. Okay, so installation complete. Check the view log. If you check uh, check the view log, it will always say they have some errors here. I don't really know why because it works anyway. It says shaders successfully installed and not, and then it says that it can't install it. I don't really know why. Okay, so now we have installed. I think we have installed everything we need at a moment. So now press start and R at the same time, and type percent after the percent as I have done up here, and press enter. If that short cut doesn't work, then Type around and press enter. Then you will get on get up the same thing. Well, you were supposed to get up the same thing. Okay, now as a matter, um, that should work. So then open the dot Minecraft bin, and then go to the yarn called Minecraft dot yar and click open winner archiver which you probably should have at it now then open the shaders folder you should you should probably have that one too now and then go back to represent after the percent and open the dot nitros that should be new now then open the mods this folder open the hill say shaders and bump mapping mapping sorry um Mark all these files and then just drag them over. Okay, so now we can close this down. So here comes one important part. You have to open the G buffers terrain of F S H, not V S H and F S H. Open it up. And here you will have some files. You see text, sorry, and up here you see it says const with three and all that stuff. So put forward slashes in front of this one. And here it says some things. Um, there is actually some lines of code. Um, Well, it says here that this one it says fine for one to eight pixels and um, tile size it says um, and just delete the forward slashes in front of the one that is correct with 
your touch pack and mine can say it's 128 but if you want to use 32 for example then you delete this one so yeah, like that and put forward slash head in front of the ones which you don't use so this one is the one which I'm going to use because I use 128 and by the way there will be a line which you should paste here if you use 256 then you should write then you should paste it here it is a line just like these ones but it says fine for 256 tile size and you should use that one yeah but, uh, but the most station pack is for 120 days so you don't have to worry about any higher things probably okay so now when we have the 128 pixel time size then you can save it and exit and it will ask you file gbuffertrain.fsh was modified we wish to, do you wish to update it in the archive and then click yes then you can close this yar down and then it's time to open minecraft click login um, and by the way I will put a line of code which you were supposed to paste it if you use 256 texture pack in the description too <laughs> it will be a huge description Say okay, so to place the texture pack into here, click open texture pack folder and then drag the texture pack folder. This is the one which I dragged into here. Uh, I mean, which I showed you earlier when I drag the train at NH and S, and then it will put up pop up here. Like you see, here is the thing which I did texture pack which I showed you it looks very grey in the beginning but when you join a world you will see that you see the blocks is in 3D I mean you see on the stone there which I'm pointing at with my uh, cross now you see that now you see that side now you don't see that side and now you see this side and that is what I mean. You see, the blocks will be in 3D. I have one good example up here if I just can get up. And by the way, this will be very laggy. I just got into my mind, so this will be laggy. So be prepared for that. Uh, by the way, here is what I did in my last preview. Yay. Okay, so see, as I said in that video, the light looks nice now because now you see this side. If you go away to this side, you can see this side of the stone on the top. Then that makes it have a 3D. I can walk a little bit slow so that I can show you. You see here, and then you see how it actually gets in parallax occlusion. You can see the planks, and everything is awesome. So, that's basically how you get your parallax occlusion. So, that's all for this tutorial. So, see ya, and please subscribe.